an ancient city that owes a great part of its existence to abundant water resources and fertile soil. A city which has well preserved its historical and cultural identity through time. Civilizations came to life wherever there was water. For thousands of years, the people of ancient Persia struggled hard to make life easier, both for themselves and for their future generations. And this strong passion for living has sometimes resulted into incredible works of art and engineering. Here we are in Shushtan, the city of old Zizifus trees and ancient water mills that date back to more than 2,000 years. In ancient Persian language, Shushtar means a better city. Shushtar was an important place for the Elamites and the Achaemenids several millennia ago. For more than 3,000 years, this city had been the center of attention for its agricultural productivity. But it was during the Achaemenid period, more than 2,000 years ago, when people realized that they could make optimum use of the energy produced by the flow of Karun River that passed through the city. The application of renewable energy in Shushtar reached a climax during the 3rd century, when the city was selected as the summer capital of Iran by the Sassanids. That was when the Sassanid king Shapur I defeated the Roman emperor Valerian and ordered the captive Roman soldiers to build a water system comprising large bridges and dams that not only supplied the city and irrigated agricultural lands, but also used as a drive to run a series of water mills that were unique in their own time. On the water mill site, I met with Davud Najjar Asiaban, the internal manager of Shushtar's historical hydraulic structures, who gave me more interesting facts about Shushtar's water system. این آثار متعلق به دوران ساسانیان هستند با پیشینه 1700 ساله مجموعه آسیاب‌های شوشتر دارای سه قسمت شمالی، شرقی و غربی هست که مجموعه این سه قسمت تونسته 36 عدد آسیاب رو در دل خودش جا بده و عمدتاً کاربرد این آسیاب‌ها هم برای تأمین مایحتاج آرد جندم جو the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, or the UNESCO, has registered the Shushtar Historical Hydraulic System as a World Heritage Site, describing it as a masterpiece of creative genius, and indeed it is. Do you remember that strong passion for living that I earlier told you about? This is what I meant. During the Sassanid era, hydraulic engineers had to conduct the water which came from the dam up there onto the water mills and from there back on its main track to the Karun River. In order to do this and also to control the flow of water that went back to the river Karun, they had to hire some people to dig huge chambers in the heart of rocks using very elementary tools such as hatchets. And this was how the external panels were made. All the curves and meanders created on the way of the Karun and the water mills had been carefully calculated by engineers some 1700 years ago. A labyrinth of canals, discharge panels and bends were built on the water's way. In fact, a combination of different elements helped accelerate, reduce and even stop water flow towards the mills, whose application was vital to the economy of Shushtar. I heard that a number of these mills were still operational after 1,700 years, and to my amazement, Mr. Najjar showed me one of them. Asia was the same time, 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 the this is the exact replica of what a Sassanid water mill used to look like more than 17 centuries ago. Now I'm going to show you exactly how it works. As you can see, this is the main turbine that used to work with water. 
It's made from pure Sisyphus wood. The ring around it is made from pomegranate wood, which used to keep it and hold these paddles tied together. And the water came from a panel such as this one, and on its way, it started to turn the turbine like this. The Shushtar hydraulic structures clearly show how ancient Iranians faced the challenges ahead of them. They first turned the problem into a simple formula and then solved it, sometimes forever. Ami Mehdi Kazemi for Iran.